morning prayer meeting if you have the Bible look at the book of Nehemiah chapter 12 Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 1 to 12 Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 1 to 12 when the seventh month came and the Israelites had settled in their towns all the people assembled as one man in the square before the water gate. They told Ezra, the scribe, to bring out the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had a command for Israel. So on the first day of the seventh month, Ezra, the priest, brought the law before the assembly, which was made up from of a man and woman, all who were able to understand. He read it loud from daybreak till noon as uh, he faced the square before the water gate in the presence of men, women, others who could understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a high wooden platform built for the occasion. Beside him on his right stood uh, Matatia, uh, Shema, uh, Anania, Uriah, uh, Hilkiah, and um, Messiah, and on his left were um, Pedaya, Messiah, um, um, Malkeja, and Hashem, and uh, Hasabedana, Jekariah, uh, and then um, Meshulam. Ezra opened the book. All the people could see him because he was standing above them. As he opened it, the people all stood up. Ezra praised the Lord and great to God, and all the people lifted their hands and responded, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their face to the ground. The Levites, uh, Jeshua, uh, Bani, uh, Sherebiah, uh, Jamin, uh, Lakub, uh, Sevatai, uh, Odaya, uh, Meshaya, uh, Kalita, and uh, uh, Ajraya, and Jojabet, Hanan, and um, uh, Pelea, is to do to the people the law in the law while the people were standing there they led from the book of law of god making it clear and give the meaning so the people could understand what was being led then nehemiah the governor ezra the priest and scribe and the levites who were instructing the people said to them all this day is uh, sacred, sacred to the Lord your God, and do not mourn or weep, for all the people had been weeping as they listened to the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks, and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is a uh, uh, sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve, what, uh, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Levites claimed, all the people say, Be still, for this is a, a sacred day. Do not grieve. Then all the people went away to eat and drink, to send a portion of food, and to celebrate with great joy because they now understood the word that had been made known to them. This morning I would like to share with you understand the word of God is most important. You just let it. Nehemiah, he was a governor in Israel. He was in stay in the foreign country, but when you heard that Jerusalem destroyed by fire and burned the world of Jerusalem, he came to uh, Jerusalem as governor and restored uh, Jerusalem. 
the rebuild the wall of Jerusalem within 52 days. It's amazing. So when he did, and then the Ezra working together with the governor uh, Nehemiah. Ezra, he was a teacher and preacher. He's a priest, and he encouraged the people. Especially if you look at the verse two, and the verse two, and then the priest Ezra brought the law before the assembly, which was made up of men and women, and all who are able to understand. You understand? Who are able to understand? Understand is very very important. When I came to the United Kingdom, this country, I couldn't speak English at all. I knew the Hallelujah and Amen. Yeah? Understanding is very, very important. If you don't understand, you don't know what they talk about. You just understand. Understand. And then look, verse 3. He laid it aloud from daybreak until noon. noon. How many hours? At least five, six hours. Five, six hours read the book of law. Loud voice. And then do what 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 was happening and the people could understand and then look at verse 5 we want to do it together verse 5 according to, to what they did Ezra opened the book <coughs> can I open Ezra opened the book yeah I opened the book all the people could see because he was standing above them and that wooden, wooden platform and do you know what he did and then, and as he opened it, and people all stood up. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? When I open, everybody stand up. Yeah, yeah. Can you, yes, can you stand up? Yeah. And then what was happening? Ezra praised the Lord, and praised the Lord, and then great God, and all the people lift their hand and respond when when Ezra said, praise the Lord, you great to God. Everybody say that, can, can you see that they lift up their hand? Can lift up their hand? Like this? Respond, can you say, Amen, Amen. Amen, not one time, Amen, Amen. Can you say, Amen, Amen? Amen, Amen, two times. Hey, you can sit down. And actually, they, what they do? They bow, they down. They worship the Lord with their face to the ground. Have you seen that some people, they face the ground, yeah, lying on the floor, on the floor. This happening, Amen, Amen, two times, Amen, Amen, like this. And then um, continually, actually not only uh, Ezra did, and on the left side, the right side, the Levites and teachers, they were working together. And look at verse 8, they read from the book of the law and law of God and then making clear and giving them meaning so that people could understand what was being read. You understand? People understand. It's so important to understand. My people are perish because of what? Lack of, Lack of knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, you don't know what to do. Perish. Many, many years ago I was in Africa in rural area, there's no electricity, there's uh, no water. It's very difficult area, rural area, a small village in Africa. And do you know what was happening? I had uh, two pairs of shoes. I went to another another area to preaching all day long. When I come back, and the pastor's wife was washing my shoes. You know, my, my shoes are uh, leather shoes. Do you know what they do? She put inside the, the water and wash myself. And then um, over 45 degrees, so strong sunshine. And when I come back to my uh, the home, at the pastor's house, and I was looking for my shoes. And she said to me, Pastor Paul, unfortunately your shoes are here. Yeah. This is your shoes. Do you know what was happening? My shoes are leather dryer by strong sunshine become very small size like a children <laughs> and <laughs> my 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 shoes are like band like a ship like this i said what happened she said unfortunately i wash your shoes by water and i said to her, i understand that but 
my shoes are only shining by you know, you know, brush. This is leather, not washed by water. But she didn't know. And I told her, you can't give my shoes to your children. <laughs> she can give to some children. Do you understand? She doesn't never know. Wash the shoes, leather shoes by water. My people are perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. If you don't know what the Bible say, yeah, you live in the darkness. Yeah, you can make it a mistake. Many, many times. You don't know. And then do you know why the UK the street always it look light? Why? Because opposite of many, many countries. And the right hand drive the car. And when you cross, you need to look. But two Koreans died actually in new modern area, Korean town. Why? Because they look at the in Korea when the car come always they look at the left. <laughs> and then they didn't look at the right. Yeah. It's so important to understand the rule and regulation in foreign country. And same thing, rule and regulation about your life. This is a this book is a manual book for your life, how to live in this world. Yeah? When you buy some fridge or some electric things, there is a manual book. And you can see, oh, I can use this, this machine according to this manual. Same thing. God made you in this image. But how can you live in this world without a manual? This is a manual book, how to live in this world. Therefore, to understand the word of God is so important. Can you see verse 9? Then the Nehemiah governor and Ezra the priest the scribe and the Levites who were introducing the people said them all. And this day is a, a sacred to the Lord your God. Do not mourn and weep. For all the people had been weeping as they listened to the word of the law. Do you know why they are weeping? Why? They understand the word of God. If you understand the word of God, so powerful. Yeah. For me, when I read the Bible, five, six hours I read the Bible. Why? I enjoy. It's like more sweeter than honey. So beautiful, wonderful. I was even I forget to go to the toilet because it's so testable. Beautiful. I don't want to live from that presence. I meditate, I enjoy. Wonderful. And look at verse ten. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy the choice food and sweet drink. Send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is a, a, a sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve, for joy of the Lord is what? Yes, your strength. Can you say to each other, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Say to each other, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Do you want to get the strength? You have to have the joy of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. If you have the joy of the Lord inside of you, you have the divine strength. And then, look, verse 12, Then all the people went away to eat and drink, sent a portion of food, and then to celebrate with a great joy. Do you have the great joy? Not just a normal joy. Great joy and gladness, because they now understand the Word of God. You see? If you understand the Word of God, how wonderful, great joy, wonderful. Yeah? Do you know what is my prayer request? Would you help me, Lord? Because I, as I am a pastor in the church and teacher and preacher, can you help me to encourage the congregation uh, with the wisdom and revelation of God? When you have the wisdom and revelation of God, you know God better. You know secret. Yeah. And do you know what is the prayer request of Apostle Paul? Can you go to the Ephesians chapter six? We did it last night, but. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. Book of Ephesians chapter 6, 19 and 10, 20. This is a prayer request of Apostle Paul. You know what he say? 
pray also for me. Do you know what this is prayer request? Whenever I open my mouth, word may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. Okay. Can, I, can I give you three prayer requests of Apostle Paul? Number one, God will give him the word. Okay. Can I say again? Lord, whenever I open my mouth, then the word may be given me. The word of God given to me. Yeah, this is number one prayer request. Number two, and then I will fearlessly make known the mystery of gospel. Yeah. Number two request, make known the mystery of the gospel, mystery of the word of God. People that don't understand the word and the Lord God, can you use me to explain the word of God for people who listen to the word of the Lord? through my life. That kind of prayer, number two. Number three, verse 20, for which I am ambassador in chain, pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Oh God, can you help me? Please, you need to pray for me. How you pray? Pray for me. I need a boldness. I can preach the gospel fearlessly in front of kings, governors, authorities, even anybody. I may declare the word of God fearlessly. Number three. These three prayer requests. Can you remember? Number one. Can you say after me, Oh God? Can you say after me, Oh God? Give me your word. This is number one. Number two. Make known the mystery of the gospel. Number three. I may declare it fearlessly. These three things. This is a prayer request of Apostle Paul. Can you pray for me also? Especially, you know, today we're going to have a Bible college. You're training to be an evangelist, to be a missionary, to be a man and woman of God in the United Kingdom. How God wants to use in you? Pray to God like this man, uh, Apostle Paul. Lord, give me your word in my heart. I share your word, but when I share your word, uh, make known the mystery of gospel, like uh, Ezra did. Nehemiah chapter 8, Ezra opened the book of law, and people understand the word of God, they have great joy. If you understand the word of God, you can have a great joy, wonderful, to knowing Jesus, to knowing God. This is my prayer request this morning, and this is your prayer request. Lord, give me your word. Give me daily bread. I need it. Would you give unto me, O oh God? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from mouth of God. We need the word of God daily. Understand the word of God daily. Can you look at the... Uh, Second Timothy chapter three verses sixteen and seventeen. Understand the scripture is so important. Second Timothy Second Timothy chapter three sixteen and seventeen same All scripture is God's breath and useful for teaching and rebuking, correcting and training in all in righteousness. Can you see that? The word of God, yeah, is a more sharp than a double-edged sword. And then the word of God teaching you, debuting you, yeah, correcting you, training you in righteousness. So that the man of God, like you and me, may be truly you keep for the good work. You see, you can be a good work because of the word of God. You receive the word of God, the word of God, four area, four things. What they did? Teaching. You like teaching. Yeah? And rebuking, correcting, you don't like. The word of God, rebuking, correcting you. Oh, not for me. Don't do it. Receive the rebuking, correcting. And training is good. Can you say it to me? And uh, can you say it, say it to me? 
for training, for teaching, rebuking, correcting. When God corrects you and rebukes you, unfortunately, some people, no, oh, I don't like, no, don't do it. When God correct you, when God rebuke you, good for you, good for you. Sometimes, two times, I correct the congregation through the word of God. Sometimes, I rebuke them by the word of God. Rebuke and correct is very, very important. Without to rebuke, without to correct, you never, you know, be a discipline. Yeah? Have you seen the, some army training? Every Korean man the army train. You train an army. Yeah? Every Korean man is serving at the, the Korean military for two years. Every Korean man is a compulsory. So many times of training. How to carry the gun. How to work. How to, you know, to defend our country. You know, there's so many training. Without the training, you know, impossible to defend our country, Korea. Because enemy, North Korea, try to take control of South Korea. Any communist country. But we don't want to be a communist country. Korea, South Korea is like heaven. North Korea is like hell. Can you imagine? Whole country, you, you listen to the message uh, two weeks ago. How many of you listened eh? from the Timothy? That's hell. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, it's hell. Whole country is hell, North Korea. But South Korea, we have the Religious freedom. You can singing and worshiping every everywhere. No one stop you. You have the freedom of speech in Korea. But North Korea, if you say thank you Jesus, you go to prison. If you sing for Jesus, get the sentence. Stay in the prison, like a Muslim country. Yeah. More worse. Number one, uh, number one most the worst of human rights country in the world is North Korea. Number one. Not Pakistan or Iran or some Algeria or no, no, not Korea. Number one. Yeah. But listen, the word of God teach, rebuke, correct, and training. And that's so wonderful. And you, you keep for every good work. Paul, he was training by the word of God. And then his prayer, Lord, help me. Give me your word daily. O oh God, help me to, to, to preach the word of God fearlessly. O oh God, help me make known the mystery of gospel. I think what is the motto of YM? You did mission. Do you remember? What is that? Make known the Lord Jesus Christ. Same thing. And make known the great commissions, preach the gospel, make known the secret of the gospel of Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Father, help us to understand your word. We need your wisdom and, 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 and revelation to know your word. Lord, help us. Give us a burning desire to meditate your word. Forgive all our sins. Because you are so rich to meditate to your word. Help us to meditate to your word and understand your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for, pray for outreach on Saturday. We will go to outreach in central London. And we will go to the Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly <coughs> Circus in Bridge to Gospel in central London on Saturday. And then. Yeah, Saturday mission, Saturday outreach, and I pray for Locust Bible College today. And pray for mission to America on 23rd to 28th of October next month. Thank you. God bless you. Bye now.